Hey everyone, I'm Noah and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. Now, a while back I made a video showing you how to go about making a simple 2D lighting system in Unity. In short, by using normal maps, we got the game engine's light to affect 2D sprites. Well, in this video, I wanted to show you another way to populate your scene with a pack of cool lighting effects. We will basically hand draw our lights using some 2D application, in my case Photoshop, and then import those lights in Unity. Tweak order in layers, some color settings, and by doing so, add an extra layer of life to our scenes. So reading a Made with Unity blog post on the topic of Team Cherry and their masterpiece Hollow Knight, I was delighted and impressed to read that most of the great visual effects found in the game weren't achieved through technical shader scripting or complex 3D lighting systems, but with pure hand-drawn art. For example, the epic lighting in the game was handled with soft, transparent shapes. With that in mind, let's jump into Photoshop and create our own 2D sprites that will serve as lights. Note that any 2D application such as GIMP will be more than enough to follow along. First of all, I'll change my background's color to black. I'll then right click and choose a soft round brush. All 2D applications should come with one of these. Also set the brush's color to white, since this will leave us a lot of flexibility in Unity to change the light into whatever color we want. I'll now paint a soft cone shape. This will be my first 2D light. At this stage in the process, don't bother getting your sprite transparent. Like for the actual color, this can all be handled directly in Unity. You can of course make as many or as little lights as you need. I'll just create a soft round shaped light and perhaps a more tube shaped light. Awesome. I'll now set my background to transparent by disabling the background layer and then head over to File, Quick Export as PNG and obviously just export directly into your Unity project. Since I've exported all my light shapes under one single file, I'll change sprite mode to multiple hit apply and in my sprite editor, cut up and separate my various lights. A cool trick when slicing up white graphics on this transparent background, which can be quite annoying and tricky, is to simply enable this alpha mode. Now we can clearly see our lights. So the first scene I would like to add some light to is this moody hilltop. Let's make it so the scene seems bathed in warm sunlight. In other words, use these soft shapes to get our environment feeling warm and safe. I'll simply drag and drop my tube shaped light, place it in my scene using the translate, rotate and scale tools, and then ponder a while over this order in layer setting. Basically, sprites with a higher order in layer will render in front of sprites with a lower order in layer. My flowers and grass all have an order of layer equal to zero, so I'm going to give this first light an order in layer of one, so that the light will render on top of my simple environment. Of course, this light looks for now very out of place. I'm going to first of all lower the opacity, and then change the color into something warmer. Keep tweaking the position, rotation and scale of your light, as well as its transparency and color until you are satisfied with the results. You can also add more light to your scene or duplicate this one to add some extra depth. All right, now that I have this sunny looking scene, I can very quickly, by simply tweaking the settings showcased previously, transform this scene into some hostile, spooky looking place. A deep red will usually do the trick, and I can continue changing colors and positions to create drastically different atmospheres to a same scene. You can use the same techniques to bring to life an infinite amount of epic locations simply painting soft shapes in Photoshop and playing around with basic settings in Unity to give a certain part of your environment an extra touch of light. Of course, you could use these same shapes to simulate mist 
and conceal parts of your world. Another fun way to put this method into practice is with silhouette character designs and environments. Simply set your camera's background color to black, create black silhouette characters and monsters in Photoshop, and then place them in your scene. Obviously, you won't see much, but by adding, say, this round light, and giving it an order and layer inferior to your silhouette designs, you'll be able to have some visibility on what is going on. You can then add a cone-shaped light that could act as a flashlight for your player character, and by rotating it around, you'll be able to catch glimpses of a frightening beast. You could of course change the light's color here as well, going maybe for a violent red or claustrophobic yellow. I quite like the white, it gives the scene a limbo-like feel. Obviously, you don't need to limit yourself to only soft shapes. You could go for a more crisp cartoon style. Simply take a hard brush and paint your shapes with that instead, and then use the same old transparency, order and layer, and color tricks showcased earlier. Lastly, you could take advantage of a cool Unity component called Halo, which, as the name implies, will surround your game object with a light. You can then change its size and color for awesome effects. For example, you could add a Halo component to your villain's red eyes to make them that much more menacing. Or perhaps give a Halo to some juicy pickup pushing the player on a subconscious level to go and, well, pick it up. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and will use this arty lighting technique in your own game projects. If you feel like being awesome and supporting me and my channel, you can hit the like and subscribe buttons. I can assure you each new subscriber and each like is so appreciated and encouraging. With that said, have a great day, stay tuned, cheers!